Hey guys, today's episode of Karate Nerd Insider is very special. I have the Western world's number one karate author, researcher and historian, Sensei Hanshi Patrick McCarthy with me today, celebrating the launch of his new edition of the Bubishi, also known as the Bible of Karate. And I had the great honor of writing a quick foreword for this new edition. So, again, to celebrate the launch of this new Bubishi, he will be a special guest on today's episode to teach you a pretty cool Bunkai Kata-related exercise straight from the Bubishi. Check it out. Oh, hey. Hi. Uh, working with Anders Hansen today. Anders is our representative here from Sweden. Uh, Jesse, thanks very much for having us here at the dojo. We were just looking at the, uh, an exercise from the Lohan Chuan, uh, one of the two styles which are featured in the Bubishi. Um, certainly most of it is Yong Chun based white crane or crane fist boxing. This part is Monk fist, uh, Japanese we say Rakan Ken. There are four parts to the exercise. Um, interestingly enough, the, the southern Lohan Chuan or southern Monk fist which originated in the north, found its way uh, to Fujian province with a, a Shaolin monk whose uh, number one student was a guy who owned an incense shop. And so uh, in the south, the name is not carried on monk fist boxing, it's usually incense shop boxing. And that was representative of monk fist boxing. So this particular drill that we do, um, I'm sorry, comes off of protecting yourself against being hit in the face and uh, 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 as the hands come up, and, and you would see that if you were a, a Gojuru stylist, you would see the first movement out of Seonchin from here, or if you were um, uh, from Shorin base, you would see as the hands come up through the face uh, in the Kusanku, Yaru Kusanku, Kuneoshi Kusanku, you would see this hand movement. Well, this is what we're going to see, and if, and if you were just uh, from Southeast Asia, you would see that that same position was really just protecting the head uh, that we see in Siamese boxing or Muay Thai or Muay Boran, for example. So that hand comes I protect my face from here, and I slam the head at the same time, and I'm just going to turn him around. And as I do that, I'm going to carry on with that hand whilst I'm protecting my face. This is called Ryubi, which means dragon spins its tail. As I spin it out, I come back off of that to uh, slap it. And again, you would see that type of movement in, say, Seipai, for example. Here it's monkey picks the peach. I'm going to slap from here. And as I continue to move forward, I bump and kick the leg out from underneath him from here, and as I step across, as I would say in Naihanchi, I step on the pop till fossa, just gonna turn him around a little bit. So, I, so I've foot swept, stamped on the pop till fossa, and then it's monk rings the gong, which is a double impact to the ears. There's no need to follow it up after that. You can see how effective the techniques are. And the nice part about what we're watching here is the actual flow of movements that come to follow up. Uh, this is from the second part of Rakanken, and uh, it was a pleasure to uh, I give you that lesson. If you're in the bookshops uh, in the next little while, please order yourself a copy of the Bubishi. Jesse Enkamp has uh, written a wonderful forward. Uh, we have something fascinating about the, uh, the Dim Mac with the Kyushu Jitsu by um, Evan Pantazi. Andy Kwask, who is a a, a wonderful researcher is looking at the, another part of the anthropology of this tradition, has a fascinating insight into uh, uh, an alternative source from which the Bubishi may have come. And my colleague Cesar Borkowski uh, from Toronto has uh, written uh, a forward as well. There are lots of new and interesting parts and a lot of the original text from the original Bubishi is in this uh, uh, new publication. So I wish you the best of luck. Jesse, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Hanshi McCarthy. <clears throat> we will ho host a giveaway of this exact copy, the first ever copy of this new edition of the Bubishi, signed by Hanshi McCarthy himself. So if you read the video description, you can have a chance at having this exact copy in your hands.